payments have been rising uh, for, for all types of purchases, for, for new uh, purchasing, new leases, as well as used uh, loans. And what's important though is the relative relationship between these monthly payments because if I don't have to pay uh, too much of a premium to buy a vehicle, I may end up deciding to buy it. But if it's going to have a, you know, a significant additional cost to buying a vehicle, I may be pushed into the leasing market. And that's exactly what these lines show. The screen line here shows the premium that you have to pay, uh, pay to buy a new vehicle uh, versus buying a used vehicle. It, it runs somewhere in the neighborhood of 145, 150,000, or excuse me, $150 a month that you're going to pay to get that new vehicle overused. The retail side of the industry is down again this year. Uh, and we see this really tying into this affordability issue that folks just don't have the money to make these huge uh, monthly car payments. And we've already sold 85 million vehicles over the last five years. Uh, you know, lots of folks have already bought these new expensive vehicles. There's not a whole lot of uh, uh, consumers out there that haven't been touched by the vehicle market recovery just yet. But what's interesting is when we look on the retail side is that retail purchases are down uh, quite a bit more than retail leasing. And again, I think this is helping to uh, illustrate this issue of affordability, that consumers are looking uh, for that lowest uh, or most affordable monthly payment, and that's steering them uh, towards the leasing side relative uh, to purchasing. But one of the things that we think is helping to support this as well is that residual values uh, underlying uh, vehicles have actually started to stabilize. They had been falling over the last few years. Uh, we see in 2018 and 2019 that trend starting to reverse a little bit. And these stronger residual value, values will mean that the OEMs themselves, uh, it'll be a little less uh, costly to try and subvene uh, many of the leasing activities that they're doing. So as I mentioned before, the transaction prices are incredibly high. And this is a chart that's showing the average MSRP from our Kelly Blue Book data in blue, and then uh, the average transaction price that we're seeing out there. And we can see that uh, we're approaching $40,000 is the average MSRP that's being offered out there in the marketplace. Uh, that's a huge chunk of change. Uh, and the average transaction price is approaching $37,000. Uh, again, these are very expensive vehicles. The mix is moving much more uh, towards these crossover and truck uh, vehicles that are more expensive away from passenger car, as well as the content of these vehicles continues uh, to drive prices higher. All this new technology, driving assist features, all of that's putting upward pressure on prices. Uh, it doesn't seem like this is a trend that's going to reverse itself anytime soon, even with a recession, uh, because the industry is really committed towards getting these two new technologies uh, on these vehicles. Uh, 